Hello there, folks. My name is Scott Lynch, and welcome to my channel. This video's topic is mainly going to be about how I make foods easier to eat for me. Our one of the main dishes that we fix here in the house is salmon and rice. However, as you can imagine, they're probably the same way, but we tend to drop quite a bit of rice everywhere, all over the floor and everything. In fact, if I had a dog here, I'd be dog's best friend. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. These are the foods that we will be using. We start off with a simple tortilla shell. Then after that, we go to our rice and fish that we actually prepared last night. So you don't have to watch us fix that. Next thing we've got is the actual tortilla shell. We go ahead and put it on a piece of tin foil here. And we have some cheese on there. And that will help to hold the rice and the segment together. Last but not least, we'll do. We're going to um, Friday or not Friday, but scramble an egg, and that will also have all the everything together, so it doesn't make a huge mess. Now here's what we're gonna do. We've already added the butter inside the pan. There, we're just going to scramble an egg, and I'm simply scramble the egg. It's gonna be more like an omelet. Yeah, just let the egg lay in there. And while it's in there, before it gets hard, I put the rice and salmon in the egg so it kind of gives it something to hang on to. The salmon and the rice we heated up in the microwave ahead of time so we don't have to wait for it to get hot. That way the egg won't overcook. So we'll just let that sit there for a minute and cook and then we'll fold it over. One thing we've learned to do, whenever we do come put it in the tortilla shell, we will ahead and wrap the tortilla up in tin foil. That way it's our form to it. It doesn't tend to fall apart whenever we try to eat it. This technique is great for making all kinds of food. In fact, in the mornings, I'll often have a breakfast burrito. We'll make it probably the same body up. Yep, I put the egg in and I break the bacon up instead of leaving it whole. And uh, cook, actually I heat the bacon up in the pan first. Uh, break up the bacon and put it in the pan. And then put the egg in there and the same thing with cheese. The cheese also helps hold the food together inside the tortilla shell. Plus you kind of like cheese. So. <laughs> I like cheese quite a bit. I really love the spicy kind. The pepper jack is awesome. Less pepper is even better. I've been using cast iron skillets for a long time. They don't stick as bad as regular pans, and I don't think there's much you can do to them to mess them up. So, anyway, I just kind of help push that together to help hold the rice in there so it doesn't fall out everywhere. And it's on about medium to medium low heat. And that's about as brown as I want that egg to get. I don't like them even to get that brown. And because cast iron holds the heat, I turn it off before I'm completely finished so it doesn't get too hot. Put that over there on the egg. in there and if you roll it up in the tin foil that gives the tortilla shell time to kind of stick together and then that's it if anybody out there has any other ideas about how to fix foods that are a little bit easier or has an idea for different recipes please let me know in the comments below if you have any other questions of course Leave us a comment and we'll try to get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you for watching.